I consider Bossy Field one of the historic treasures of Evansville. It's the third oldest professional stadium in the United States behind Fenway Park in Boston, which was built in 1912, and Wrigley Field in Chicago, which opened in 1914. Bossy Field opened on June 17, 1915, and it was built after a collapse of the stadiums at the Louisiana Street ground the previous year. On May 27, 1914, during the field day exercises for the Evansville school children, the East Stands collapsed and 42 people were injured. There were over 8,000 people in the park at the time of the collapse. Mayor Bossy called for a new stadium to be built for the children of Evansville, and the next day, on the front page of the Evansville Courier appeared an artist's rendition of what this new stadium might look like. Fourteen months later, Bossy Field was completed and opened. Uh, it was a huge celebration in Evansville. It was a half holiday. Streetcars were running out Main Street. Every minute another streetcar was unloading passengers at the end of Main Street here in Garvin Park. The original stadium did not look as it appears today. It was not covered with brick, but with white stucco. The brick facade that you see today when you come to Bossy Field was done during a renovation during the 1930s. Due to the, the quick pace of construction, the concrete was not allowed to cure properly during the 1914-1915 uh, construction. And in 1957, the entire inside of the stadium, all the seating area had to be torn out and redone because it was structurally unsound. The seats, the wooden seats that you sit in today when you go to Bossy Field um, were put in during that 1957 renovation. And many other renovations have occurred through the years. The fence has been added and a ticket booth has been added. But it still has that great old ballpark feeling when you come here to watch an Otters game.